So we talk about when you come up to a house, you got to kind of keep your eyes open and you got to look um, because we want to help you as salesman. We want to help you uh, earn more money on a tip. Um, and I'm sure you guys want a bigger paycheck. And plus, I want a bigger paycheck as well, too. And right now, S1 cards are kind of thin coming in. Maybe about one, sometimes two a day. And as a salesman, we need to be running about six stops a day. Okay, five is good. Four is about the bare minimum that we really need in order to make it you know, worthwhile. But as a technician, when you're out on a property, these customers like you, love you, they respect you. If you say, hey, listen, you guys need to get this done, they're more apt to listen to you. So let's take a walk around the house, and I wanted to maybe show you some things to look at that are very blatant, very obvious, that you can look at and go, huh, maybe I need to ask this customer this question. Because on your green sheets, it'll tell you whether or not they have lawn, they have shrubs, they have anything else like that. And maybe you can ask some just basic questions and help get us on the property so we can sell some things. So let me see if I can turn this camera around a little bit. One of the first things that we do is, this thing will turn around here, is when you get up to a property, one of the things that you normally want to do is, let me change this here just a second. So one of the things you want to do is you want to get out of the car and you want to look. And you want to look at the lawn. So we look at this gentleman's lawn. He's got some browning in his lawn. And it doesn't look 100% nice and healthy. Well, some people just love their lawns and want to have something really, really nice. So you say, hey, listen, you know, do you have somebody that does your lawn service? Well, yeah, I've got so-and-so. Are you happy with them? That's kind of the next question to, have to ask. Because sometimes they are. Sometimes they just switch services. So, um, and if they're like, eh, not, listen, let me see if I can get somebody out here. You can maybe sit down and talk. Now, one of the things that you notice here is they've got critter quitters. So that's good. That means that they've had a squirrel problem before. Um, so they have squirrels running around here. And then what basically what we do is we look down through the gutters, right? So he's got gutters. One of the things we want to do is we want to see, you know, if they're clean or not, okay? But you got here, got this wonderful thing called a tree that overlooks the house. And that might give you a thing to say, hey, listen, you might need to get your gutters clean. The other thing that might be um, a noticeable thing is, let's see if I can get it here, is when you have things like this growing out in the gutters, it usually lets you know that the gutters are kind of full. And that's right at a downspout, which means that all that water is going to back up. It's going to cause problems for the house itself. But now, remember how I told you that this guy's got squirrels and he's got the critter quitters? Well, we've come over and we've actually done an exclusion on this gentleman's house before. And I can tell that without even looking at the record just by some of the things that got done. Okay, up in that corner, up in this little corner over here, um, there, the pitch change. There's some foam letting us know they've been done. But one of the things that I do is I look up here and I notice that some of the soffit here, yeah, that was a little bit hard. Some of the soffit that's, that's up here has been pulled out, okay? But this is why we want you to look, okay? Because sometimes you can see those blurring things that make you go, hmm? And this is one of those things that make me go, Hmm. So if you look right up here, right, this is a soffit right over here, the white stuff. And then see this big area right here? Has no soffit. That's big enough for a raccoon to get up in there. So that might be something we need to talk to the customer about. So if you want to know if you have things that you can tip or not tip or things to ask the customer, if you look at your green sheet, it'll tell you whether they have termite, whether they have lawn, they have shrubs. It'll tell you that stuff. But when you're out here looking around the property and you happen to talk to the customer, you can point those areas out going, you know, looks like you might be able to get some rodents in through there. Oh, I've never seen that before. 
well, we're here to help you. Let me see if I can get somebody out here to help you. And in that, I can now propose a gutter, a 21X for exclusion, and also the lawn. The good thing is, is that the technician talked to the homeowner about the lawn, and that's what made me come out here and take a look. But there's two other things that I can talk to him about as well, too.